Foreign ministers from seven countries and the European Union were here, most of them having cleared their schedules at the last minute because they thought a historic agreement was close. But after talks that in the end dragged on beyond midnight, there was no deal. Uh, we're all on the same wavelength and, and that's important. And that gives us the impetus to go forward when we meet again next time. So um, actually I think we had a very good uh, three days, very productive three days, and uh, it's something that we can build on and move forward. An emphasis on the positive, but behind the scenes, annoyance and some blame being directed at one country, and it was not Iran. The international community was represented at these talks by what's known as the P5 plus one, the permanent members of the UN Security Council, as well as Germany. But in effect, the P5 plus one became the five against one. That one, France, whose foreign minister, Laurent Fabius, unexpectedly raised objections to the proposed deal, a deal which it's believed the US was probably prepared to sign. Did the French ruin your deal? Not at all, he told me, a point he elaborated on in his news conference. We work very closely with the French. Uh, we agreed with the French that there were certain issues that we needed to work through. We came here with bracketed language. That's the nature of a negotiation. The president has repeatedly said we will not rush to a, an agreement. The president has made it clear that no deal is better than a bad deal. And I think it's good we're going to take the time we're taking to make certain that we are dotting the I's and crossing the T's and doing what is necessary to have an agreement that we are assured we can look our allies and our friends in the face and say this gets the job done. That's the purpose of it. The provisional date for the next round of talks has already been set for November the 20th but there are those in Israel, in the Middle East, particularly in the Gulf and in the US Congress that want to kill off any deal before it's done. There is certainly frustration, but there's no doubt progress has been made here. After a decade of wrangling, just getting this far is an achievement. James Bay's Al Jazeera, Geneva.